Uh, what I'm doing is I'm doing the battery saver right here. Uh, I got it connected into my OBD and then straight into my OBD port and that'll hold battery uh, power and save all my channels. So the reason I, uh, I'm doing this is the alternator is not charging correctly. I'm not usually a Diag uh, video kind of person, but I wanted to kind of show you what was going on. So at idle with uh, with an Equinox uh, 2012 GM, what happens is um, this is the uh, Gen F terminal duty cycle uh, percentage, and then the Gen I mean Gen F sorry, and then the Gen L command, which is the percentage. Uh, so how often it's commanded on. So the terminal signal is at 31. So this is the signal we're getting from 30 to 32. And you can see up here, here's the max, right? So if I click on Gen L, go up one. So it's obviously working. So we're getting computer command, right? So you can see the steps, no problem. So that's perfect, right? So what I did was scope the uh, signal from the uh, alternator. And if you notice, we're at zero and we're roughly about 1.4. And now this is at idle. So this is what it's supposed to be on with key on engine off right here, okay? So then when you turn the car on, you're supposed to get a five volt square wave. So uh, we're getting that, but I had to go to around 3000 RPM to get that, right? So what that tells me is I had to go to 3000 RPM to get it to charge properly. And that's just not how you drive. So uh, obviously the alternator was bad. So um, so I scoped it and I'm gonna get an after uh, scope picture to show you too as well. So, and then um, bring you over here. So here's the alternator right here. I had to take the motor mount off to get it on. So the new alternator is installed. I didn't wanna make an alternator video. There's plenty of those out there, however, uh, here's the, uh, the power wire and then here's the, uh, this back one here is, uh, the signal wire right here. So we're going to probe that back, probe that again and get a new signal and, uh, hopefully, uh, where, where we're supposed to be. So I'm going to go ahead and mount the computer back on top of the battery, hook up the battery. I have the, uh, battery tender going inside the car. So we're not going to lose anything and, uh, go from there. Now we're getting a nice square wave here. Zero to five. Look at that. Beautiful. Ready? I'm going to go ahead and start a deep record. I can already tell it's a fix. We're going to go ahead and zoom in. There you go. Look at that. Nice, clean signal. Awesome. And then this was at 8, eight, uh, eight amps down here at the amp clamp. I don't know if you can see in there, but we're right around 100 and something amps. There you go. Little scope. Nice clean five volt square wave. Boom. Fix after I uh, scoped it. So you have your Gen F signal. It's not a staircase anymore. It's just, it's straight across. We're at hundred percent. That's where it should be. And uh, our Gen L uh, terminal command is at 83 and that's at idle. So we have a five fold reference. Um, so I kind of wanted to show you the difference starting to, uh, from the start and the end. So that's how you can tell if your alternate is bad just by scoping pretty much one wire and taking a look at a couple PIDs. Uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not one for, um, you know, Diag videos, but I want to kind of get this out here, uh, I guess to kind of start doing some, uh, so hopefully this helps somebody and, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it guys. Happy new year.